Hello and welcome to Wingscape for Teachers. In this tutorial we'll be having a closer look at the measurement tool which I've had some difficulty with uh, I must say but uh, I've just worked out a couple of little tips that uh, hopefully simplify its use. Here I've drawn a couple of rectangles I think this is uh, 40 by 30 millimetres and might be 20 apart. Now if I activate the measurement tool by M or spacebar or this icon here and say I click out here, you can see actually what's coming up in the bottom corner here, this is because this is the last thing I did. Sometimes it's annoying when the last measurement comes up and is all over your drawing. If that happens, just click and drag a little area somewhere off to the side. But uh, if I click here and hold down control and drag across for a perfectly horizontal line, you can see I'm getting all the measurements from the start of the line to this shape. Then this one is 40, there's the 20, 40, and then the distance to, to there. What I didn't realise for a while, I was fairly unobservant, is that there are some controls up here. You can turn off these intermediate uh, measurements so that we just get the distance between the shapes, 100 uh, mil, or the extreme end points there. So that's handy. You can also change the font size, and I didn't realise this font size actually controls other messages that flash up in Inkscape when you're snapping items, for example. And I couldn't see how to change that, it was quite big, but uh, this is. Uh, controlled by the measurement tool and it affects other things in Inkscape. Anyway, if you want to uh, measure one dimension, snapping tools are very handy. Snap to customize particularly and snap to intersections. Uh, not intersections, midpoints, sorry. That one's intersections, but midpoints is handy. If I click and drag, let go, you can see it reports the 40 millimeter length. And that's uh, quite handy. So it's a matter of clicking and dragging. If I then click another point, it uh, uses the last two points I've clicked and reports that measurement. So as I say, sometimes that's annoying, just click and drag off to the side. Okay, not sure what that is there. My space, measurement tool. Ah, very interesting. Okay. Uh, it's just a a gremlin in Inkscape, that can happen sometimes. Zooming in and out can often clean up your screen. Okay, let's have a look at this triangle. And let's say I wanted to measure that bottom length there. Once again, M or the ruler icon, click and drag, and there we get the 150. We also get how far from the horizontal, it's 16 degrees below or negative 16.847 below, so it reports that back. But what if we wanted the angle right across there? What we can do is we, again while the measurement tool is activated, click that and hold down shift and start rotating. You can let go of shift, in fact you must let go of shift if you want it to snap to the midpoint there. And you can see there's the 60 degree angle. So once again, click and drag. Oops, it's using the last thing. So you get into a bit of trouble, I'll start again click and drag, then I've let go, then I'll hold down shift key and start moving this little circle, then I'll let go of the shift till I snap to a midpoint, or indeed an end point there. So that's very handy. One other thing I noticed up here is that uh, if you want to hide the first and last measurements you can do that and just have the angle. Uh, as I said before that's intermediate measurements which we won't have any of here. Uh, show hidden intersections, not so sure about that. Layers, well I'm only operating on one layer. That uh, reverses where the measurements are drawn. That can be handy sometimes. Not sure about uh, this phantom measure. Guides, I guess that's uh, snapping measurements to guides. But This one's an interesting one. Convert to item. If I want these to remain on screen forever and be objects I can edit, I click that and it turns them into actual objects and I'll show you what I mean because if I go back to the selection tool these are no longer the measurement tool um, annotations they're actual items in Inkscape objects so what you can do is uh, often uh, you might want them all you can just uh, click on them and control U to ungroup them and then you can delete the ones that you don't want it's a bit laborious if you've got a lot of things which you often do in Inkscape I'll delete those Delete that, delete that, oops, control Z, I might have wanted the measurement. Delete that. You see what I mean with lots of the little red cross there, delete. 
You can see I've got a dimension here which could be handy to have left on your diagram. This one here too. I can, uh, I think I can un ungroup that some more, yep. That's uh, need another ungroup and I can drag that out and change it to whatever colour I want and get rid of its background. So they're all actual objects. Click on it, rotate it. It's probably easier just to type the 100 uh, mil in the first place but you know, sometimes it might be useful. Sometimes you've got to, quite a few things to click on and delete. Anyway, I'll delete uh, that and show you one more thing before I finish the video. I think this is made up of three segments. You get one, two, three. I zoom in this little cross there. You have to get rid of that. So there's quite a bit of tidy. And again, might be a couple of them. There's quite a bit of tidy up to do. Anyway, back to the measurement tool or space bar. If that didn't work, you can hit the icon and let's uh, measure the base again click and drag let's go from the last point click and drag sometimes you have to do it twice one other thing is this arrow here you wouldn't think it does this but if I click it it actually puts just the dimension on and upside down if I go back to the select tool now and press delete I can get rid of that line and I've just got uh, got this uh, number here which I don't know why they do it upside down, maybe to get it out of the way of other things in the measurement tool, but uh, just click both reflection tools and you can get it in the right alignment. And that can be a handy way of measuring sides as well. Anyway, hope that's uh, helped clarify a few things. Remember, click and drag for measurements. Click and drag from a vertex to measure an angle. Then hold down shift and rotate and then let go before you get to the other arm of the angle. Until next time, bye for now.